out. It's a cold, rainy day. Just starting to sprinkle here in Saskatchewan. We're out doing uh, fent training, infield stuff today, which is pretty cool. Got uh, two nine uh, ideals running here with a 45 and a 50 foot draper. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. The rain's starting to kick in, so they were trying to get the field part of the day done here with the combines. And I think we'll move into classroom stuff here this afternoon. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going on here in Saskatchewan. We're running and I'll show you some pictures that we've taken of it. This is the new 50 foot Gehringhoff head that they've just released. Uh, it'll be up for, for next season. What they're demonstrating is this three section hinge. Um, it's hydraulically controlled as it, it senses what it needs to on the ground. What it didn't get to show is because we were cutting wheat is it actually has a full flex knife uh, in it as well, which is amazing for doing soybeans. Able to get started around uh, 11:30, quarter to 12. Um, it was pretty tough going for the first little bit, but uh, there was actually a bit of a breeze that uh, started to pick up, and uh, things dried out. And miraculously, it was actually testing under 14%. It was just the straw that we were fighting that was uh, was going through a little bit more difficult. But this was the 45 foot, just getting started. We were focusing on machine optimization here, um, getting things set up, trying to make sure that we had the best uh, sample and minimal losses coming out the back. On this pass back, um, we were actually one of the groups was doing loss checks, and that's what we did here. We, we put three pans out, one on either side of the machine and one way down the middle. With the way the spreader works, uh, anything coming out the side would be sib loss, anything coming out the middle at the back would be rotor loss. So we were we were checking that to see what we got. So here you can see the pan. This is the left one, and then the center, and then the right. And when we blew that all off, we were sitting around a quarter bushel loss.
the floor, man. No! Fortunately, we did end up getting rained out. Um, we were supposed to get a couple hours each where the combine time for the 14 guys that were at the training there. Um, we ended up maybe getting half an hour uh, down and switch with the other guy that was in the cab with us and back. So it wasn't as much as we hoped, but uh, overall the training was still really good. Um, we ended up getting some uh, competitive training and some other things uh, in the tent afterwards while it was raining out. So it wasn't a complete waste uh, and it was pretty informative and, and learned a lot. So um, overall, uh, had a great trip. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the, the three parts, um, the first and the second, uh, by the number of people that have watched, actually, it, it appears that everyone is enjoying it. So hopefully this is the same. Um, yeah. We're on to some demos here tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be able to get some of that up onto, onto the channel here shortly when we get time. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions, uh, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below, like always. Um, and for that, thank you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.